I personally don't think being a girl makes me race any different. Guys think she's not as aggressive or she won't be as competitive with me and then they think they can just run over you. I don't take it, but I think once we're on the track, gender doesn't matter. I'm Jaden Daniels and I drive race cars. I've been taking Jaden to the summer shootout since she was probably three or four years old. At first, you know, it was just kind of a cool thing to do, to go and watch the racing and stuff. And then probably seven years old, she's sitting in my lap, we're watching racing. She's like, Dad, I want to do that. I was nervous about it. I mean, she started when she was 10. She was very, you know, small and especially starting in karting because there's no roll cage. And if they wreck, they usually fly off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, it was pretty small. It kind of looked like a little Mario Kart. Um, and I finished third in my first go-kart race, so. Junior division champion, Jaden Daniels. Uh, I drove go-karts for three years, and then we decided to move to Vandaleros. Uh, he would be, yeah, like my little crew chief guy. <laughs> it's really cool because I think it's something that we bond over really well. I love being able to make the car go fast for her. I mean, she's doing her job. She's really come a long way in the last couple of years, you know, so I want to make sure I'm doing my job and give her what it takes. You would never think that she was a race car driver, but the helmet goes on and the shield comes down. She's a different person, and it gives me cold chills because I love it. Not a boy out there that wants to get beat by a girl. I think guys feel pretty upset to get beat by a girl. I think that's also why they race girls so much harder. She's gonna have to work twice as hard to get to where she wants to be because of that. So I had just got my first win at Concord Speedway. That was a big deal because it was a close race. So the next weekend we came back and I was feeling good about it just because we just won. And coming out of the corner, the guy, he turns left down the straightaway, clips my bumper. Oh! It happened so fast, I don't remember much of it. I had a headache for probably like a month straight. I couldn't drive for about two months and I couldn't go to school for about a month. So that was a pretty boring time. I just wanted to get back in the car because I had to watch everybody else race and it was killing me. But once I finally got cleared and was able to get back in the car, it was, it was such a great feeling. She grew up, you know, that's where she started going to watch races and um, she always wanted to race there and to see her win her first Bandolero race, it was just awesome. Right out next to the fence on the back straightaway now. Left side tires down to the white line. Double checkers are in the air. She picks up the win for the first time this season. Jaden Daniels is the winner. She's going to Wix Filters Victory Lane. It was just so cool to say you can win at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And with all of like our hard work along the way and to finally get to that point is so cool. And then Watching the videos of my dad like screaming for me and hugging everybody, that was really cool. So, just to make him proud. Jay Daniels, the winner here. You had every second in control. Tell us about the journey. Uh, I just can't thank my dad and the Bolins enough for putting it together such a great car. Um, I've always dreamed of winning here and to win here is awesome, so I can't thank them enough. I mean, 
um, we grew up sitting in the stands. Um, and I can remember her telling Daddy, I want to do this. I want to race. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. When she got the checkered flag at the summer shootout, I just went nuts. It was just a culmination of all the hard, hard work and remembering us being in the stands together, you know. I just went absolutely crazy. Just all these emotions came out. And to see her get the checkered flag up on stage doing an interview, it was, it was just fantastic. And I will never, ever forget.